Hello everybody, this is Gilmore, and welcome back to my channel. I would just like to uh, quickly apologize for me not uploading, uploading any videos for a while. Um, I'm kind of in school, and uh, today's video I'm making kind of hastily, um, because it's uh, Friday evening, and um, tomorrow morning I have to get up at 4 to go to a cross-country meet. So um, yeah, getting sleep's going to be fun. <laughs> but today, before I go to bed, I am going to show you guys how to do some cool stuff with your... Uh, fancy graphing calculator. Lots of, um, if you guys are in high school or college, you will probably have one of these. If you're in middle school, I cannot believe you wasted your money on one. You do not need it. You will not need it at all. But um, in my, in my uh, Algebra 1 class, I don't need it. I had it handed down to me. That's why I have it. I don't care about your story. Doesn't matter to me. If you have it, you have it. Too late to get rid of it. But um, I'm going to show you how to get, first, an operating system on it, and second, games that you can play, because who doesn't want to play games? You're not allowed to have a phone in middle school. I wouldn't understand why you'd have one of these in middle school, but you can. They won't stop you. So, yeah, fun stuff with this. And on to my desktop, starting now. Okay, here we are on my desktop. This is the second take of this. Um, apparently, my recording... My screen capture software did not have um, voice microphone stuff enabled, so yeah, I had to start this over again. Excited about that. But basically, uh, to install the operating system, what you'll need to do is get this Mirage OS file. You'll need a WinRAR or 7-zip or Win7, any kind of... Uh, uh, program like that to browse this kind of file, and I haven't paid for my WinRAR subscription, shh, but uh, in the Mirage OS one, there will be this one application, it is, it has a unique file type, it is a TI Connect application, it looks like that, to install it, it's very simple, you drag it and drop it into here, which you open by just clicking this and then browse device and it'll connect to your calculator after you have it plugged in through a standard USB cable. If you've been around since the dawn of computers, you probably have one of these. I have not, however, I was alive when computers were just, you know, starting up. They were very, like, the the internet was just new. I was alive then. Wasn't very old. I was alive. I do know what lots of the things you guys talk about are. And if you don't have one of those, uh, you can just go to your computer store like uh, Best Buy and ask for a standard USB cable. They will get you one. If you don't know how to plug your calculator in using that USB cable, go do stuff with your life. And yeah, once you have the operating system installed, installing a game is just the same. You can get games off of sites like this. This is, is a TI Wizard. I just got Z Tetris. If you're using a TI84 Plus like I am, you will just about always use this button. And from there, it will install. You'll get something like this. You open it the same way. You install it the same way. And when you install anything onto your calculator, it'll have to reconnect after it's installed. That's totally normal. And your game will be under protected program, at least mine is. And in applications, you'll see that Mirage OS is right there. And from here, I will try to capture the screen of my calculator. I will definitely have to voice over on that part and show you guys how to access your games from the calculator. We will do that now. Okay, so apparently I cannot video capture the screen, but there's this amazing button called Get Screen, so if I type something on the calculator, like, um, 888, and then click this Get Screen button, you will see that it has displayed 888. I'm just going to totally delete those because they're all useless, and click Get Screen again, and you'll see, hey, they're all gone. Basically, what you want to do is press a button that is labeled Apps. For me, it is in purple. Don't know what it is for you. You'll press that, and you'll get something that looks kind of exactly like this. You're going to want to uh, scroll down until you find something that looks exactly 
like that, your Mirage OS software. And you will want to select that. I will get screen again. And it will pull up. Come on, come on, come on. Are you getting screenshot? Okay, well, that doesn't matter. But basically, I will try to narrate it from here. You probably already see it, and you don't need my help. But. What is going on downstairs? Doesn't matter, I'll work around it. It'll open a file menu. You can press enter on main, and it'll have a list of the games you've installed. For me, it's just Tetris. I'm probably gonna get myself some Pac Man, and what are they doing? Doesn't matter. I'll probably cut the video off here because you know exactly what to do from now. Play your games, have fun, Gilmore out. <laughs>